everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you guys something a little bit different. I'm gonna bring you guys along to see a day in the life of an equestrian groom. As some of you may or may not know, I work as a freelance equestrian groom on sort of like a part-time basis at the moment. I'm doing it alongside a couple of other things. One of the yards that I work at is actually the, the yard that I keep my horses at. That's where we're off to today. I have got a full day there. So I will bring you guys along and show you some of the things that we get up to on a typical day. There's normally me and either one or two other people working. I think there's me and two others today. So yeah, should be quite a full on day. We should be able to get quite a lot done. So yeah, I'll bring you guys along and you can just have a little look and see what it's like. So I start the day off by making my lunch for the day. So I always make a smoothie in the morning and I've actually recently changed from using protein powder to using protein yogurt and the taste difference is literally next level. It tastes so much better. I don't know why I haven't been doing this before, but yeah, I make this smoothie up and it's just a quick, easy breakfast, you know, guys. So yeah, I normally just add water to that smoothie just because I feel like with the yogurt and stuff, it's a bit too much from a cow, if you know what I mean. So I just add some water to blend that up nicely. And yeah, I'll probably have that at about half 10-ish. And what's, why am I so zoomed in? That is not meant to be that zoom. That is more, that is zooming in. Sorry, I don't know why I was so close to my face. Um, yeah, obviously with a smoothie, it's just so much easier to like pick it up when you're mucking out, when you're on the go and you can just sort of get that food and you get that energy boost. So yeah, that's what I'll have at about half 10. Lunch, oh, I don't know, it's a, bit, a little bit steamed up. Do you know what? I found these um, like lunch preparing box things and they're so handy because you have like two little compartments. But yeah, I have made, looks really gross, but do you know what? It's actually really good. So it's like lentils and like a mixed grain, chicken, roasted veg, all mixed together, all seasoned, and some halloumi and some cucumber. So yeah, I'll have that for my lunch and I'll just get a couple of snacks as well throughout the day. And obviously I'm gonna have a coffee this morning as well. And everyone laughs at me because I always take my coffee in the car in like a normal mug and spill it all over me. So yeah, if anyone wants to send me a travel mug, that would be so much appreciated. So yeah, look at my coffee just doing its own thing. <laughs> this is the bits and bobs ready to go. So these are the snacks that I've got for today as well. I've got some lentil, sweet chili crisps. Never actually tried them before, but thought they were like a little bit healthier. Brunch bar because they're just elite. And knowing that I've got one of these to snack on throughout the day just makes me happy. And there's the smoothie ready to go. So now we're ready to go. I've got my coffee with me, which I'm probably gonna spill all over myself. It's about a 10 minute drive to my workplace. I'm very, very lucky. It's literally just on my doorstep. So not far to go, not too much petrol to use. The only thing that's slightly inconvenient at the moment is that I've started doing a bit of freelance riding as well, which means my boots and my hat are always in God knows what places. And I'm not an organized person. So for example, this morning, just walked all the way to my car, got my car, and then I was like, my riding boots are indoors, need to go back and get those. So I went back and got those, I've actually put them on just because I couldn't be asked to carry them. Um, and I'm thinking, where's my hat? I've literally got no idea where my hat is, but I've got a, a spare one at the yard. So worst case scenario, I'll just have to use my competition hat for today. But yeah, it is currently half past seven. I'm just gonna pop up to the yard and I will show you guys what do we get up to for the day? I just got to the yard and the first thing that I will look at is the livery book and the staff book. So we have one book where the livery is sort of writing like their plan for the day, what they want their horse to do, if they want them out, if they want them to stay in and also look at the staff book and any notes um, from either anything will be sort of added in there. So then we make a plan for the day. We normally do like two lots of daytime turnout. So we'll sort of write down a list of who's going out, who's staying in, and any exercising or any extra, extra sort of little jobs that need doing. Today is Tuesday and it doesn't actually look like there's too much to do, so it should be a pretty cushy day. It should be not too bad. And I've just come up and seen that someone's left these here. So yeah, that diet that I meant to be on. I don't know, I don't know if that's gonna be a thing today. Might be a bit of a write-off day. So yeah, after I've done that, I will then go and get the horses fed and hayed and then start with the turnout. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit of a voiceover for the day, just so I explain to you guys what it is that I'm doing. So to start with, I get all the feeds out that we've made the day before for the horses. And some of them have a few added extras. So as you can see, I'm adding in some fiber beet for some of them. And then I give them all a nice little dash of water, a nice stir, and then they're ready to go. 
We do use different stirrers for different bowls. So if there's any that have like medication, any butte, any sort of like strong supplements, we'll use a medicine stirrer just so we reduce the risk of contamination for the others, just to keep everything nice and separate. And obviously we'll carry all the bowls separately as well, just so no one gets any added extras that they definitely don't need. So after everything has had its breakfast, we then do a turnout switchover. So we have about half the yard that live out in paddocks overnight and then come in during the day. And then we have another half that are stabled overnight and go out during the day. So we'll get the overnight lot in, take their, any rugs off, check their feet, give them their feed and their hay. And then we will get the ones that have been in overnight and do the same and pop them out for the day. As you can see, Dubai, it's being the perfect model with his little fat belly. But yeah, we are in summer in the UK at the moment, so a lot of them have fly sheets on during the day, but I actually made a bit of a mistake this morning putting this fly rug on Dubai because it absolutely peed it down with rain as soon as we put them all out. It wasn't forecasted, so bad decision from me, bad groom, but yeah, it was still warm, so I don't think it was the end of the world for him. And that's just me and him walking down to the field. Don't look at my sweat patches, just ignore those. And as you can see, he is very happy out for the day. And then it's time to go and grab what we call the trio in. So my two boys and Eve's cob Wilbur, who's standing next to me as you can see, all live out in quite a big field at the top of the yard. And we sort of, we call them the trio, that's what we call them. They're just a trio of dumb geldings really. So it's quite nice that they can all live out together. So we'll then go and get those three in and do the same thing, take them in, check their feet, give them their feed and give them their hay for the day. So once we've sorted out all the turnout and the bringing in and the putting out, it's then time to muck out the ones that have been in overnight. And Today was a good day because it was the day after bale day. So we have two days a week where we add shavings to all the stables. They get two bales a week. And then on days like today, it's so nice because they've got big beds. You haven't got to add anything else. And it's just generally quicker to muck them out. And I like to muck out by sort of flicking my banks up and getting all the bits out. I know some people hate mucking out that way. But for me, it just, it works. I can sieve through all the good stuff and all the bad stuff. And I just find it that bit easier. lovely willow here jumping on the feed while me and Livy do the mucking ow <laughs> it's actually a pain in the ass to try and get this mm. in isn't it, it? <laughs> but yeah this is sort of the feed that we have so we have a mixture of honey chop alpha balancer and nuts oh, and also fiber bee and then some liveries bring in their own food own food own feed as well um so yeah these are all the buckets that we have there's lots of horses and all the supplements as well, so yeah. I will give you a hand with that. Do you want to give you a hand with that? <laughs> Lots of Do you reckon it's all going to go in? Back. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is the sort of setup. So Willow is going to jump on the feeds, and me and Libby are going to carry on mucking out. So after we finish mucking out, it is time to do my least favourite job in the whole world, and that is sweeping the yard. I just. I'm not great at it, okay guys. I'm it's it's not the top of my of my skill list, I'm gonna be honest. But um yeah, we sweep the whole yard. It's actually quite a dry day today, which made it a little bit easier. And normally it's two of us sweeping at a go, so we do sort of half the yard each, so it's not too overwhelming. 
And I didn't actually get any video of it today, but alongside doing feeds, we'll also do hay nets. We'll make up lots of hay nets for all the horses, especially the ones that are in overnight. They normally have about three nets waiting outside their stable for them. So after we finish those jobs on the yard, it's time to go and grab some horses in. So we'll often get the ones in that are being ridden sort of around lunchtime. As you can see, I'm getting Kenny in for Eve. And then we go out on a hack. So like I said earlier, we normally have a couple to exercise and today it was Callie and Wilbur. They were very good horses. So we took them for a nice hack and actually missed the rain. And after exercising, it's then time to get some poo picking done. Again, not my favorite job and sorry for the really poor quality of this footage, but the proof, the proof is there that we did some poo picking today. So we normally finish poo picking at around 12, 12 o'clock and then it's time to head back up to the yard and do lunch yard. So this involves feeding some of the horses that are out overnight their Hi. lunch feed and skipping out everyone and giving everyone a hay top up and a water top up as well before their owners come up. And we also fitted in a bit of tap cleaning today as well. So it has just hit one o'clock. I'm gonna have my lunch that I meal prepped and I showed you guys earlier and just gonna chill out for a bit and then probably do some enhanced stuff with mayo i've started trying to sort of teach him a bit of pf steps and he's been good with it so i'll eat this have a little play around with him and then i finish off the afternoon at the yard so i normally have a one or two hour lunch break depending on what day it is and today i decided to give mayo a little groom and do some in hand work with him so oh, the groom wasn't thorough i know I know, but I gave him a little flick off and chucked on his bungee and got him doing some handwork. And like I said earlier, I've started introducing some sort of thinking towards Piaffy type half steps and he's actually picking it up quite quickly. I've only done it, look at that, bless him. I've only done it a few times and he's starting to understand, which is really, really promising. Good boy, that's so clever. And when I finished with Mayo, my mum actually asked me if I could sit on Dubai for her. She was schooling him and she was struggling to sort of get him together a little bit. I think he'd had quite a few days off, so she asked if I'd sit on and just sort of get him, just get him a little bit more together and sort of sitting a little bit more. As a Welshie, he can get a little bit on his forehand and can sort of run through the bridle a little bit and get a little bit strong. So when I school him, I just try and do loads and loads of transitions. Um, I don't know if I've got any video of it on here, but in the canter, I quite often do literally a transition at every single marker. So I'll really try and get that canter to sit and collect. And at one marker, I'll ask him to halt. At the next, I'll ask him to walk. At the next, I'll ask him to halt and rein back. At the next, I'll pick up counter canter and just really keep him on his toes, thinking about the next question and just really encouraging that weight to sit behind. And again, I do sort of similar, similar things with the trot work as well. And he started to feel much better towards the end. He was a good boy. my lunch break it is time to start the afternoon yard so we get the horses ready that are going back out in the field overnight so I think on this occasion it wasn't particularly rainy or cold overnight so we just put quite a few of them out naked and popped some fly spray on <laughs> So 
once we've put out the horses that go out overnight and get the ones in that are in overnight, it's then time to freshen up the stables and to give all the ones that stay in overnight their hay and their feed and put any necessary rugs on. And then that's basically it for the day. That is pretty much a day in the life of an equestrian groom. Oh my god, the amount that my hat has rubbed off my makeup and my spots are coming out, but it's fine. I'm gonna go with that. That is a day in the life of an equestrian groom. I really hope you enjoyed seeing sort of behind the scenes what I get up to on a day at work. That was quite a typical day for us. It's quite a chilled day today, actually. So sometimes we have a few more to exercise, a few more to ride, maybe some teaching to do. But yeah, today was quite chilled, straightforward. It was a good laugh. We got quite a bit done. And I stayed fairly dry even though it rained quite a lot so it was overall a positive positive day. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and leave any suggestions down below of future videos that you want to see from me and I will hopefully see you all in my next one. <laughs>